Guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back again for a new video. So yesterday I made that video about the easiest way to switch to Linux, which is by installing Linux Mint. Of course, it's considered one of the easiest Linux distributions that you can install on your hardware nowadays. And it's also a lookalike of Windows 10. When you like, you know, look at the taskbar, the icons and all of that, it's like very similar. So you're not gonna face any problems switching to Linux Mint. But that's not today's subject. So Today, I'll be turning this into Windows 7. One of you in the comments was like, hey, can you make a video about turning this into Windows 7? Like the looks of it. So of course, you cannot turn this into Windows 7, but like you can customize the look. And I believe that's going to be fairly easy. Well, I have no idea right now on how to do that, but I will just do it in front of you. So uh, yeah, let's just get started. The first thing I will do is go to Google and I will do some research on how to turn Linux, yeah, Linux, Mint into Windows 7. Mm -hmm. I gotta find a good website how to replace Windows with Linux Mint on your PC. No, that's like an installation. Oh yeah, how to make Linux Mint look like Windows 7. Linux Mint is a very... Click on that one. That one looks cool. Essentials guide. How to make Linux Mint look like Windows 7. Aha. Okay, okay. So that's a whole tutorial. Literally what I need. Okay, you know what? I will start first of all with like the wallpaper. So what is this? Yeah, that's Windows 7 wallpaper paper okay can i cut this and put it somewhere let's put it in pictures for example just so we don't delete it by mistake as it don't loot in something uh i need to go over here preferences then i believe background yeah and then linux mints or pictures i believe that one yeah, yeah, yeah. here you go that's good. All right. So we did the wallpaper. You know what's left? I believe I will go with the teams because those are the most important. Because once I will download this, I will have basically icons, not icons, I believe, the bar over here, whatever they call those. And also, I'm going to have some stuff. All right. Let's just extract that somewhere in here. All right. Just extract it, please. Oh, this was fast. All right. Not that bad. Now let's open Windows 7 Master. Am I doing the I think. Wait, there is an index theme file in here, which means I shall not get deep into this. Just I will just copy this, just like that, or cut the hell out of it, and then go here. Then I believe Windows 8. No, it's not Windows 8. It's like Control H. Oh yes, yeah, show hidden files. We got our hidden files. All right, where is the Teams one? Well, if there is no Teams folder, that means I gotta create one myself. I already did it that million times before in other Linux distributions. So the Teams, then paste that thing in here. That's of course should be in the team folder, right? Download Windows. Yeah, I was right. Uh, what's next? We got download Windows 7 icon sets. I need the icons. Yeah, give me the icons. I like how this like literally straight forward. It's not even going to take me that much. Just like a couple minutes and it'll be done with everything. I just need to apply the changes and stuff. Okay, so this one is extracted as well. Cuts. Of course, this is the icons, right? Wait, 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 wait. Am I tripping? Why does it have the same name? Windows 7 icon sets, Windows 7 seems back. So if I downloaded this, what will happen? Mass. And if I downloaded this, master. They could have just changed the name, bro. Why? Doesn't matter. Okay, just copy that or cut it. Go to home. Then we're going to search for icons. Uh, well, there is no icons. That's fine. I can create another one myself. So dots icons. I like how simple and easy it is to install teams on Linux. Honestly, it's like really quick. And there is something, there's a tool called, I believe, OCS or OC, no, OCS URL. I use it for KDE Plasma. So like once you install that thing, whenever you're going to be in this website, for example, and you click on install and select one of these, it will automatically install the files for you in that specific locations, like teams or icons. Really cool, actually. Now, forget about that. So I installed the teams. I installed the icons, finishing touches. There's some finishing touches. Now let's just deal with the icons and teams. I gotta come over here, then to, where is this, where is this, where is this, where is this? Every time, like, I'm not really that used to Linux Mint because I don't really use it that much. I use Arch with KDE Plasma, so applets archive manager backgrounds can i just search for it seems oh wait 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 i think i remember i gotta go to seams yeah now we wait a little bit because i'm using a hard drive and this is extremely slow but doesn't matter wait what seems that's all i get advanced features oh yeah that's where i want there is no windows 7 cursor they should have added that well where is the windows 7 oh here it says yeah that's cool we're doing great the icons here is the windows 7 icons wow okay 
Oh, what? That's it? Wait, I just need the cursor. It should be somewhere in here, no? Pro cursor light. What if I choose that one? Does it look like Windows 7 cursor? Or maybe that one? Uh, no, I gotta change the cursor, I think. No, 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 actually no. This one looks like Windows 7 cursor. Add, remove. There's nothing I could add in here. Like it seemed. I already have one. Yeah, I don't really need that. Wait, so all that time, I should have just typed Windows 7. Windows 7? No, that's not the Windows 7 one. Wait, is the menu? Oh! Oh, 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 wait, this, this doesn't look right. This is not the Windows 7 starts menu, but it's similar. I don't know how deep I could go into this, but I believe I can change this somehow. There must be something in the website, wait. So over here, it says finishing touches. By now, your desktop will look like the real deal you see above. Oh yeah, the real deal. But there is a few other tweaks you can make to round off the experience. And here we got to download, starts menu. Oh! Oh, so that's where I was talking about the starts menu. So that's what I'm searching for. No, I don't need the wallpaper, but I gotta come over here, right? Wait, is this an edit mode? Hey, stop it. I didn't click on that. And then search for something they call, uh, where is this? Where is this? Where is it? Atlas? Yeah, that one. Copy and paste. I'm so lazy to type. Here you go. That was easy and simple. Oh, wait, it's not here. Oh, download. Oh, yeah, I gotta download it. Sure. Let's just wait for that thing to load because it's loading all the things you can download. 223 applets or whatever it's called that you can download. Crazy. All right, we have it. Uh, am I ready? Or should I like activate it? Oh, I should activate it. Yeah. Plus. So now I would have it somewhere in here, right? I already have that one. Wait, which one? If I click on that one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So edit. Can I remove this? Yeah. Remove. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Remove menu. Edit menu. Remove menu. Remove menu. It's removed. Now I'll click on this and drag it. Put it in here. Oh, already have it? Wait, if I exit the edit mode. That's crazy, bro. I think we're done, guys. Guys, I think I made it. Is there anything else I need to do? No. Bro, how the hell did I do this? This was really simple. So we got the desk bar, the icons, the themes, the wallpaper, the mouse cursor. Wait, that's crazy, bro. I swear to God, that looks fire. They nailed it. I swear to God, it just, there is one thing missing, which is the RU glass. Let me search and see if that's a thing. But the thing is, do I have the 3D graphic thing you activate? Because without that, there are going to be zero chances of the RU glass thing you work in. But I'm just going to give us a quick search. How to add RU glass to Linux Mints. As there is any RU glass when does seem for Linux. Oh, does it seem? I don't have it seem. I already applied one. I already found the Windows 17, but it's real. Uh-huh. The default cinnamon teams is kind of that. No, really? Wait, am I tripping? I don't have that. Well, I have the 3D graphic thing he activates in the virtual machine, which means if that's a thing, it should be activated by now, but there is basically no RU glass. Mm, doesn't matter. The most important thing, I got good results. I will Google that later on, but for now, I'm really happy with the looks that I have on my Linux Mint. Pretty cool experience. I enjoyed installing all of this. And I will give it around 7 out of 10 just because it doesn't have the RU glass. So thank you guys for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. If you did, of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what's your opinion about this Windows 7 team. Is this good? Is this bad? We never know. So tell me in the comments. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.